Hi, this is Dr. Dean Kaleda, Health Officer for Calaveras County with a COVID-19 update for our community for today, September 15th, 2020. Statewide California has currently reported 757,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases with 14,385 fatalities. Calaveras County Public Health has currently confirmed 298 coronavirus cases, now with 10 deaths in our community. Our county is currently averaging a daily rate of 5.2 cases per 100,000 population. We're performing 171 tests per 100,000 residents every day with a positivity rate of 3.6%, which has dropped down a little bit. We wanna stay less than 7%. Public Health is in the process of confirming several additional suspect coronavirus cases and potential deaths in connection to the outbreak at Avalon Skilled Nursing Facility in San Andreas, the skilled nursing home. Uh, as most of you are aware, nursing homes across America have become a tragic focal point of the coronavirus outbreak. The outbreak of COVID-19 infections continues to develop at Avalon San Andreas Convalescent Home after the initial identification of an asymptomatic staff member who was working at the facility was picked up on routine surveillance testing back on July 22nd. Since that time, there's been additional cases among both residents and staff. To date, infections in 58 residents and 24 staff members have been confirmed through enhanced testing of all the residents and care staff. So this represents the most significant challenge to our community posed by the COVID-19 pandemic to date. The mortality rate among nursing home residents uh, has been significant in other similar settings throughout the country. Uh, that's home to a lot of very um, at-risk and susceptible um, individuals. At this time, positive residents at Avalon are being temporarily placed in a COVID-19 isolation wing within the facility uh, until they've recovered so as to prevent ongoing transmission to other residents. The facility's infection prevention staff has been working uh, very closely with our public health department and even in consultation with the California Department of Public Health a hospital associated infection team. Um, they have something that's um, called a rapid response team. Uh, they've been able to come out to the facility, uh, do several site visits, and have been working with the um, uh, infection prevention staff in the nursing home uh, to figure out the best ways to prevent ongoing transmission without, uh, within the facility. Uh, they've been a, an excellent source of technical assistance. Uh, the facility is undergoing close surveillance for the prompt identification of any new cases in the residents and staff, and scaled up infection prevention activities will continue. Uh, a, a new development is that effective today, Avalon now has the ability to perform rapid point of care COVID-19 testing for its residents and staff members right within the facility. Uh, and those results can be um, um, ready within just about an hour. Uh, this can uh, reduce the turnaround time for test results and improve the efficiency of the disease control response. The facility and the public health department are in regular communication also with Mark Twain Medical Center regarding the situation uh, to prepare for the potential need for additional hospital space if individuals with COVID-19 infection get sicker and need hospitalization. Uh, public health is also in the process of officially verifying the exact causes of death for at least two additional individuals at this time as well. As of today, our official death count for Calaveras stands at 10 deaths related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Public Health will release updated statistics as they become available, as we have a press release that we release on Tuesday uh, afternoons as well as Friday afternoons. So there's currently two Calaveras County residents who are now hospitalized. Local hospital capacity remains adequate 
and ventilator availability is at 100%. Remember, ventilators are the machines that assist with breathing when people are sick. Uh, Mark Twain Medical Center has sufficient regular patient care beds, uh, intensive care unit space, and a robust supply of personal protective equipment, which are the masks and gowns and goggles, which are used by the healthcare workers at the hospital and outpatient clinics to prevent them from getting sick. Governor Newsom unveiled at the end of last month that the blueprint for a safer economy was replacing the county data monitoring list system that's used to determine what businesses can and can't open in individual counties. So every county in California has been assigned uh, to a tier based on its rate of uh, new cases, its, uh, its rate of um, uh, infections per 100,000 population. Uh, so um, data is reviewed weekly and the tiers are updated on Tuesdays. So to move forward, meaning that a county um, drops down to a less restrictive tier, a county must meet that tier's criteria for two consecutive weeks. If a county's metrics worsen for two consecutive weeks, it may be assigned up to a more restrictive tier. So the tiers are purple, that's the worst, that's widespread, that's tier one, then substantial, red, then moderate, orange, and minimal is yellow. So Calaveras was originally assigned to the second tier, the red tier, the substantial rate of infection tier. Uh, and as of today, September 15th, Calaveras County currently remains in the substantial or red tier, tier two and will remain at this tier based on our rates of disease for the time being. So what this means is that some non-essential indoor business operations are allowed to resume and to reopen again, uh, and some are, uh, will require to be uh, remain closed. Under this new framework, many recently closed businesses may resume activities with modifications. Uh, for example, dine-in restaurant service is a very common uh, uh, thing that people ask about. So dine-in restaurant services may resume in Calaveras County at a maximum of 25% of their normal capacity or 100 people, whichever is fewer. We don't have very many restaurants that large. Uh, likewise, movie theaters can open at 25% capacity, hair salons and barber shops, personal services such as tattoo, massage, cosmetology. These may all open with specific modifications. Gyms and fitness centers can resume indoor operations with capacity limited to 10%. Um, so the best way to know what businesses are open and what the modifications are, are to visit the covid19.ca.gov website and click on what's open in my county for more specific business information. You can also visit our Calaveras County COVID-19 website where we will link to that site as well. Uh, again, you've heard these messages before. The best ways to avoid exposure to the virus are to stay at home if you're sick, stay at least six feet away from people outside of your household, wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds to remove any potential virus from the hands, uh, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands, which is one of the ways the virus can gain entry into a person and bypass the immune system and to wear a face covering over your nose and mouth when around others. Face coverings often go overlooked. Uh, it doesn't take long to be outside and in a store or supermarket and see people without masks. So mask face coverings are very effective and should be worn at all times when outside. No cost testing for COVID-19 is available to anyone who'd like to get tested. The OptumServe COVID-19 testing site is located at the Calaveras County Fairgrounds and is open Tuesday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Testing is now available for those down to three years of age. People are very much encouraged to register online ahead of time. People without internet service uh, can call 888-634-1123 to get a time and date to come in and get tested. To receive information and resources related to COVID-19 testing or other information, go to the Calaveras County COVID-19 website. We try to keep that updated and have all the relevant information that people need. 
We continue to learn more about COVID-19 every day, and this new information will help us guide our public health response. For example, indoor dining remains open with modifications in Calaveras County, as I just discussed, but to protect Californians against this deadly virus, and uh, we'll need to continue to closely monitor how these safeguards are working. This is a really dynamic virus and a dynamic situation, and this is why we've chosen a low and stringent approach when determining when activities and businesses should open further. So I really urge Calaveras residents to continue to limit um, all non-essential indoor gatherings whenever possible. Uh, this is in an effort to reduce the risk of COVID-19 transmission. So really gatherings of people is a high risk um, activity to be engaged in. Uh, I know this has been and continues to be a difficult time for all of us. And uh, I, I really want to reemphasize to our community, especially in areas where wildfire smoke has impacted the air quality, um, to stay at home and remain connected, but maintain physical distance. Um, the same uh, activities that can keep you protected against COVID-19 can also keep those who are sensitive to the poor air quality from wildfire smoke um, protected uh, as well. So con to, to continue in a positive direction, uh, I really urge the public to continue to wear face masks, to keep six feet apart, to get tested, to wash hands often, and to stay at home if sick. Avoid any gatherings if physical distancing and mask wearing cannot be followed. There's no doubt that our current situation is further strengthened when we work together to help in the fight against COVID-19. So I appreciate your support and further information will be released from the Public Health Department as it becomes available. And uh, check for our press releases on Tuesday um, afternoons and um, Fridays as well. Thank you.